Reed! Production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, we're going to create a beat using BandLab. Now this software is really unique because it runs within your web browser, on your phone, or on your tablet, and it's completely free. It doesn't require you to download or install anything, and it comes with a variety of stock plugins and songwriting tools to help you get the idea started as quickly as possible. So to create a song, all you have to do is go to bandlab.com and press create. If you're brand new to making beats and music production, you might find some of the most difficult steps to be the very first few creating the chord progression, getting the general idea and direction of your beat started, and inspiring that first idea that starts your song. To help make that a little easier, BandLab has a great feature called Song Starter, which uses AI-generated ideas to inspire your new music. So what I'm gonna do today is see how well this algorithm works and find out if I can make a beat using the Song Starter here in BandLab. So let's roll the dice and see what we come up with. So let's roll the dice once again and see if it gives us a nice chord progression to start with. Hey! Now with this idea, you also have the option to switch the mood from nighttime, daytime, or sunset. Let's try seeing what the nighttime mood is. daytime version. This is actually really cool. So let's open this idea in studio and see if we can build off of this. It automatically creates a new band lab session with all the tracks in this automatically generated idea already laid out. So you can see we have the lead, marimba, bass, drum kit, and some fills. And I'm gonna stretch this arrangement out a little bit by just grabbing this loop button, and I'm gonna drag it out so that we have four loops of this beat. This will give us opportunities to do switch ups and arrangements and things that'll make our beat progress. So now this is gonna be our melodic intro and then our beat. I'm thinking about changing this first sound from a ukulele to something else. You could very easily change the sound of any instrument by going to the instrument tab when you have this channel selected and going to the drop down menu of all the different instruments. Let's try switching this to something like a bell. And I love how the chords are played here on this marimba too. So I'm just gonna right click and duplicate this. I just wanna have piano or some new sound come in here too. So it's not just more marimba. So I'm gonna call this piano and go down to the instrument and let's change it to one of the pianos. I really like the honky tonk piano here. Let's have this piano come back and we'll do an intro. Let's have the bass come here like this. I'm just gonna change this melody a little bit. Right there. I just wanted one more note there at the end. And now let's change this drum beat up. Our drums currently sound like this. I'm gonna switch this out for a more modern sounding 808 bass. I'm gonna click on my bass, go to bases, 808s, and let's use the preset called rumble bass. And there's a lot of notes in this pattern, making it a bit distracting of a bass line. I'm just gonna take some of them out and you could right click and delete the notes or highlight them and delete them, whatever seems easier to you. I'm gonna delete some of these. So it's just one lonely kick in the beginning of the bar and I'll leave three notes at the end of the pattern.
that's a lot more chill. And I'm also just gonna turn up the bass a little bit. And as an effect, I'm gonna add a little bit of distortion. Now this is a bit of mixing while we produce, but I'm the type of producer that just likes to hear the idea in a more finished way as I go. And BandLab has a great collection of free stock plugins that you can add to any of your instruments. Like let's try adding some distortion. Bit Crusher. Turn the mix down. And that just adds a little bit of high frequency to the 808 without it. And with the Bit Crusher. Just a real low mix percent. We're only using like 5% of that, but I think that just makes the 808 sound so much better. And maybe just a more noticeable distortion too, just to add some buzz to it. Awesome. So now that we've got our melody, chords, and bass line, let's add some drums. I'm gonna add track, and we're gonna use a sampler and browse the free BandLab sound collection of one shots for any type of thing that you could possibly search for. So I'm gonna type in claps to get started, and you can scroll through all of these free samples that you could drop and play right within BandLab. I'll use this one called Stash. We're gonna drop it right here, press record, and we've created a basic pattern. So I'm just gonna make this pattern a short loop by dragging it in this way, holding command so that it starts on the line. And I'm also gonna go over here, drag this back. Once again, holding command so it stops on the line. Now we could double click our notes and we can quantize them to have them be perfectly on the grid. So I'm just gonna click 16th notes and quantize. And now we can loop our claps just by going like this and we have a perfect loop for our beat and we can rename this track Clap. Also, it helps to be more organized. You can rename these regions. And let's add some percussion. Maybe a rim shot. I'm gonna hit Add Track, Sampler, and let's drag this rim shot onto our sampler. Boom. And let's record a pattern. And to tighten those notes up, we can quantize them just like we did with the other ones. Or if your style of music doesn't sound good quantized, you obviously don't have to do this, but I like having everything nice and tight. So I'm gonna click all these notes, highlight them all, and hit quantize to the 16th notes. And next I'm gonna add some hi-hats. There's a really great instrument here called Drum Machine, which makes it very easy to create patterns using some simple 808 sounds. They give you an A pattern and a B pattern by default, and we're gonna be using both of these. I just wanna start with the A pattern, stretch this out from here to here, and then we'll have the B pattern start right here and stretch out for the rest of the beat. Let's open up our A pattern. I'm gonna click and drag my mouse around to get rid of all of these notes. This is very much like a step sequencer that you see in other DAWs. Uh, we're gonna be using this just for the hi-hats. Like that. And I actually really like the default pattern that it gave me. Let's see how this sounds in the context of our beat. Right, another thing I'd like to add to this beat is like a little crash cymbal or sweepy noise to help the impact of the beat feel more impactful. And for that, I'm just gonna go back into the one shots and I'm gonna type sweep. Or maybe we'll do like a crash. Perfect. And you can just drag this and drop it right here and it creates a new audio track with the sample on it. And we'll just turn it down to match the beat. See what else we could do to get this 808 a little bit louder. I feel like it's not quite disrespectful enough. Might need just a little bit more. Let's try graphic EQ and see if we can bring out some of the low frequencies in. Turn up the high frequency. 
even though 808s are a bassy instrument, sometimes when you turn up the very highest frequencies, you actually get that clarity you want. There we go. We can even turn up the level a little bit more right here. And then turn it back down right here so we don't have to max out the volume on the channel. And we can copy our crash over here when the pattern changes just to give it another impact. I also wanna enhance this crash to make it sustain a little bit longer. So I'm gonna add an effect, delay and a reverb. The D delay, turn the feedback up and the time up a little bit. Maybe some more feedback, turn off the high pass filter. And then to soften it even more, a little bit of reverb. Hey. And then maybe right when this beat pattern comes in, we'll bring this marimba melody back. I think this beat's gonna start with an intro and then go right into the chorus and then have a verse afterwards. But you don't really need to worry about the arrangement until you're done compiling all of your sounds and ideas. Next sample I wanna add is a kick drum. We could just type in kick and we could just drag the kick right onto the timeline and create our pattern just like we did with this. Or you can put it into a sampler and do it with MIDI. It really depends on what seems easier to you. And I'm just gonna hold Option and drop it right here on top of this kick to extend our pattern over like that. And we can turn our kick down. Next thing I'm gonna add is maybe some little drum fills. I'm gonna go back into my drum machine and we could delete the B pattern because we're just gonna make one quick little fill that indicates the change of a section. Let's open our drum pattern. I'm just gonna right click, clear pattern. Let's do some toms. Let's do toms, high, mid, and the floor tom. And that could be our tom fill going into the drums. And we'll do a snap right at the end of it. And since there's no snap in this drum machine, I'm just gonna type a snap right here. We'll find one that feels nice for this drum fill. Awesome. Drop it in here on a new channel. Snap. And again, to enhance the snap, I'm just gonna add a little effect here while I go a reverb, space maker, just to make it last a little bit longer. And when the kick drum comes in, I'm gonna bring back the piano too, just for a little bit more support on that melody. That's gonna bring it into the verse of our beat. So I'm gonna highlight all of this, hold option and drag it over. And when you hold command, again, it snaps on beat. And let's pick what instruments don't belong in this verse section. I'm gonna turn off this. And let's just try having it be drums and bass. And our melody comes back in right there. And then delete this one. And drag this over. And our little drum fill too. And now that we've got all the fundamental melodic chords, drum sections, I wanna add some little things that are like icing on the cake and special effects. I love processing little vocal samples into something that sounds more like a special instrument or a vibey atmospheric thing. This is kind of cool. Let's try this siren sound. Now let's go into the effects and put another long reverb on this to give this some more sustain. I'm gonna go to reverb. Now let's try the studio reverb and let's put a very long size. Turn the size down a little bit so it doesn't last quite that long. And we've created a great little effect to accentuate the downbeat of our chorus. And now we've got our effects, percussion, melodic, and chord section. Let's take a listen to our finished beat from the top.
creating a beat from scratch using the BandLab Song Starter to find the general inspiration for the chords and rhythm behind your song, and then customizing it with BandLab sounds, instruments, effects. I'll put links in the description below to Song Starter and all the tools that I use to create this song in BandLab so you can get started creating your first beat. My name is Reed Stefan, realest puppet in the game, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.